Welcome to the chapter from village to Delhi. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning objectives by the end of this chapter you will be able to understand what is transportation system describe the rules to be followed while driving vehicles differentiate between bus journey and train journey analyze the advantages of traveling in a train let us first start with an introduction we know that to travel from one place to another we need a transport vehicle we also know that people generally prefer two wheelers autos or cars to travel small distances and buses trains or aeroplanes to travel long distances have you ever traveled in a bus or a train any time do you know by what means of transport do people in villages travel to cities in this chapter let us know about bus journey and train journey in detail we will first know what are the various means of transportation transportation systems help people to move from one place to another roadways railways airways and waterways are the various modes of transportation so now let us know about bus journey a bus is a large motor vehicle carrying passengers by road it is generally said that a journey by bus is not so thrilling as the one by train or aeroplane however people prefer bus journey more as buses are easily accessible any time people in villages travel to cities mostly by bus in any city or state there exist both government and private buses the government buses are owned by the government whereas the private buses are owned by the private transport providers in the government buses there are many types of buses like ordinary express deluxe luxury semi luxury super luxury etc the fare of ordinary bus will be slightly less than that of an express bus likewise the fare differs from one another in order to book a ticket in advance the central and state governments have provided people with the facility called reservation facility to avail this facility one can go to the ticket booking centers or can book tickets online in every state the government will provide concession to the physically handicapped people in our country almost all the states give some concession in the bus fare for the people who have some special cards for example the telangana government has given a concession of 10% to the people who have cards like vanita card and navya cat card Do you know nowadays a ticket vending machine called electronic ticket issuing machine ETIM is in use for issuing tickets in buses and trains with this method there is no tearing and punching of tickets knowledge check attempt the following questions to check your understanding While traveling in a bus you might have noticed the problem of change let us know about it while traveling in a bus we see some people boarding the bus and some getting down the bus we also come across some situations like people giving a huge amount to the conductor say rupees 500 for a ticket fare of just rupees 20 on such occasions there arises the problem of change 
The government has been requesting the people to carry proper change with them while traveling in the bus. We can see notice written on the government buses which states tender exact change for the ticket and cooperate with the conductor. At times while traveling in the government buses, we find government officials getting into the bus at some stop and checking the tickets of all the people in the bus. Once they check all the tickets, they get down from the bus. However, if officials find any person without a ticket, they charge the person with heavy fine and imprisonment. Do you know it is a crime to travel in public bus without a ticket? People who do so will be charged with a fine of rupees 500 for 6 months, imprisonment or both. While traveling in a bus, we also encounter traffic signals. Let us know about them. While traveling by a bus or some other vehicle on road, we find traffic light at the crossroads. A traffic light is a road signal for directing vehicular traffic. We find the traffic signals at crossroads to avoid traffic jams and road accidents. The red light tells us to stop, the orange light tells us to get ready and the green light tells us to go forward. In addition to traffic signals, we also came across some white lines drawn on the road. These lines are called zebra crossings. Zebra crossing is an area of road painted with broad white strips where vehicles must stop if pedestrian, a person walking rather than traveling in a vehicle, wishes to cross. Near the traffic signals, we generally see a policeman in white uniform. He is called traffic police. He is responsible for controlling the traffic and to look after the problems of people related to traffic. Let us now look at the rules that are followed while driving vehicles. Follow traffic rules properly. Do not use mobile phone while driving. Wear helmet while riding a two-wheeler. While traveling in vehicles like car, the people sitting in the front seat and the drivers should wear seat belts. We should not listen to music through earphones while driving a vehicle. The number of passengers should not exceed the vehicle's capacity. Do not overtake without indicating or signaling to the vehicle in front. Do not turn left or right without indicating to the vehicles behind. We should drive the vehicle within the speed limit to avoid accidents. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Now it's time to know about the train journey in detail. Trains help people to travel to distant places. A railway station is a place where trains start and stop. The train journey is very interesting journey. It gives us excitement. Also traveling by trains is a very cheap and comfortable. Suppose a person living in a village in India wants to go to the capital of India that is Delhi. In that case, he has to first travel from his village to any of the cities and then he has to board the train to Delhi. To travel in train, we have to book the tickets in advance. We can do so either through the railway station ticket counter or online. There is also a facility to book the tickets through Tatkal. Tatkal booking is meant for immediate journeys. The government provides concession in ticket fare to senior citizens and physically handicapped persons. 
in the railway station announcement will be made regarding the travel and arrival and departure times of the trains after the train comes to a platform we need to check the coach number and get into the train once the train starts an official wearing a black coat comes to check the ticket he is called ticket collector do you know in our country there are rail routes connecting all the states the trains that run through telangana karnataka madhya pradesh maharashtra tamil nadu and andhra pradesh states are maintained by south central railways all the trains are given specific names some of them are telangana express kakatiya express single train express Bangalore Express, Intercity Express, Rajdhani Express, Tungabhadra Express. We will now know about the people, food and cleanliness in trains and about the railway signals in brief. Click each tab to know more. Types of clothes and languages. In the railway station we generally come across people of different places wearing different costumes and speaking different languages. When compared to the people in buses, people in trains will be more different in terms of dress and language. In the railway station the announcement will be made in different languages depending upon the stations. The name of the railway station will be written in different languages in different places. Also the names of the trains will be written in different languages Food in trains In the Indian railways food is served in some trains the food served in the trains will be different according to the place thus you may or may not like the food and hence it is better to carry your food while traveling in trains If you cannot carry your food there will be many other options available to you various food vendors sell food items inside the trains you can see people selling tea coffee tiffin lunch fruits samosas ground nuts and so on in the railway station you will find many shops stalls hotels etc you can find a variety of food items being sold on the platform and in the train cleanliness in trains the government is taking utmost care to provide higher standards of cleanliness in trains however people do not support the government as they do not follow the rules and regulations properly in the railway stations we can see posters which say do not throw the waste in the compartment but to throw the waste in the dustbin but these are of no use as some people in the train eat fruits junk food etc and throw the peel of the fruits plastic covers water bottles in the train railway signals just as how vehicles on road have traffic signals even the trains have signals the green light tells the train to proceed at line speed The yellow light tells the train to prepare to find the next signal displaying red. The red light tells the train to stop. Also when a train passes through a level crossing the railway gates are closed on both sides. Only after the train leaves the gates are open and vehicles are allowed to go. While traveling in train standing near the door is very dangerous. If you slip you may fall on the railway track knowledge check attempt the following questions to check your understanding We will now perform an activity on rules to be followed while driving vehicles. 
read the following statements and identify which of them are true or false by checking the respective radio button. Keywords. List of keywords are shown on the screen. Summary. Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Transportation systems help people to move from one place to other. Roadways, railways, airways and waterways are the various modes of transportation. A bus is a large motor vehicle carrying passengers by road. People in villages travel to cities mostly by bus. In any city or state, there exist both government and private buses. The government buses are owned by the government, whereas the private buses are owned by the private transport providers. A ticket vending machine called Electronic Ticket Issuing Machine, ETIM, is in use for issuing tickets in buses and trains. With this method, there is no tearing and punching of tickets. It is a crime to travel in a public bus without a ticket. People who do so will be charged with a fine of rupees 500 or 6 months imprisonment or both. A traffic light is a road signal for directing vehicular traffic. We find the traffic signals at crossroads to avoid traffic jams and road accidents. The red light tells us to stop, the orange light tells us to get ready and the green light tells us to go forward. Zebra crossing is an area of road painted with broad white stripes where vehicles must stop if a pedestrian wishes to cross. To travel in train, we have to book the tickets in advance. We can do so either through railway station ticket counter or online. Just as how vehicles on road have traffic signals, even the trains have signals. Read the following questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow-up work. Imagine and write the situation of city junctions without traffic signals in your notes. Visit a nearby bus stand, railway station and observe. Write down your observations like name of the station, whether toilets and urinals are there, whether facilities to passengers are adequate, whether boards with details of arrival and departures are there. From a newspaper, collect the details like the names of the trains, destination, time of arrival and time of departure and also the place to which you can travel to from the railway station nearest you. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter from village to Delhi.